Hi, it's nice to meet you, Liz. Hi, uh, thank you so much for having me here at mm. the party. No problem. Can you tell me a bit about what you do? Well, I think I would say that I'm a storyteller. I'm really passionate about telling stories and working as a film director and a producer, both for long form but also for short form digital content. Oh, I see. That's very interesting. So, can you tell me a bit about some of the difficulties that you face and how you manage to overcome it? Sure. Well, um, mainly the things that I like to work on are to do with climate change. And so I think anybody who works in that area always has lots of challenges. Um, one is in funding, but two is actually the places that I need to travel to are very far away. So it means that I have to travel with my crew to quite remote locations. So I could face travelling on big seas and hitting hurricanes. Or I could find myself uh, on the way to the Arctic in dog sled but I might find myself in a difficult situation so firstly I think there are physical and geographical difficulties that we face as a film director but secondly there are just the challenges of getting funding and finding broadcasters and then really grappling with what the story is and how to tell the story um, and I think that's a challenge but it's also when you actually get the story it's really exhilarating and exciting to be able to share it. Okay, can you tell me about one interesting or unusual expedition or journey that you went on? Oh, let me think. Well, I actually had the privilege to take 40 teenagers to Antarctica. Um, it was United Nations Year of Youth. So I think that was unusual because I had 40 teenagers. Um, we had the most amazing trip down to Antarctica. But on the way back, we hit a hurricane, which is a Category 10 hurricane. And I actually thought that I might die. And I rang my family and I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it back. But just to give you a perspective on it, all the teenagers were up there on the deck with the captain and they said to me, man, this is the absolute best thing we've ever had. This is better than Disneyland. So I actually realized that I learned that my perspective on things needed to change because they saw things totally differently. So um, it was a challenge, but I learned something from it. Hey, that's very interesting. Thanks for sharing. So what is one thing you think young people can do to get themselves involved in something like that? Well, I think one of the things that um, I encourage young people to do is to use social media and to use their mobile phones because to use them positively and to use them to tell important stories um, of their generation and to talk about important stories that are happening in their community. Particularly, I really encourage young people to think about what they can do to reduce their carbon footprint on the planet because there's something that we can all do and it's whether you can do something in your friendship group, whether you can do something at school, whether you can do something at home. If we can all reduce our carbon footprint just by 5%, which could be 5% less uh, meat each week, 5% less packaged products, maybe 5% less electricity or just walking that extra step and not always using the car. I really encourage young people to think about what they can do to be a game changer and actually help us make a much better future for them. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you.